There's a ton of events going on in clean energy. I feel like the buyer wants the exact opposite of what we kind of talk about sometimes in these networking events. And ultimately, we have to get the buyer to buy into these solutions that we're suggesting. So this is where it got polarizing. At the end of the event, I was just like going off because I felt like I heard decarbonization one too many times. I hear this word so often, decarbonization, sustainability, words that are cool and relevant at the time, at the moment, but not really words that make anything happen. You know, these rooms are like rooms for full of like very technical minded people that are speaking in technical terms. But in my experience, most of the people that are the end users, the buyers, the business owners don't speak in this language. And one of the things I realized is that no business owner ever made a buying decision with us based on their desire to decarbonize their building. They don't really care about these words. What they care about is the end deliverable. What are they receiving? And does it make dollars and cents? And I feel like we use all these technical terms that really just go over people's heads including mine, because I had to learn a lot to get into the industry that I'm in now. Being in LED lighting was very beginner status in energy efficiency. Um, and to become a full-blown energy service company like we are now, I really had to dive deep into energy. In an attempt to try to make these technical things understandable, I had to break it down for myself. And I see the need to have to do that for the end user or the buyers as well, because none of them really understand what we're talking about. When you go to an MBA course, they tell you like there's the textbook business world and then the real business world. And when you go to the real business world, they smack that textbook out of your hand because in the real business world, it really just has to make dollars and cents, but at a better term, just common sense. And a lot of the technical terms are just so technical that they don't make common sense. They're not for the common folk, you know?